Samuel, thank you so much for joining us today. Are you there? Yeah, uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening from Nigeria. A good evening for you. Good afternoon for us. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Did you think that through social media, your music will take you to Canada one day? Uh, not really, but let me just say, uh, when I started the journey, I knew it was, um, it was kind of a, you know, unique content. So, well, I was expecting something good and I'm really glad it's in Canada to be. It is very unique. Absolutely. Samuel, what, what is this, uh, passion towards Indian music, Indian culture? What is it about Indian music that you enjoy the most? Um, I'll just say the people like living in India was kind of um kind of an amazing experience and you know getting to understand the people, getting to understand how much they loved loved me while I was there. So I mean that really fascinated me and I just like finding myself getting uh lots of interest in the culture, you know, the tradition and every other thing Indian. So tell us, tell our listeners about your India experience. Why did you go to India? Because I believe you went for studies. Uh, and how long ago was that? Uh, well, so basically everything like started in 2010. And my first trip to India was uh, actually a medical one. So I had cancer in 2010 and I went for my cancer treatment. I had my chemotherapy and surgery in India. So in 2012, I returned to India for my education. So basically, I graduated from a university in India with a B.Tech degree. And what? And you studied in Jaipur, I believe. So what was that experience yeah, like? Studied, you know, be, being an outsider coming to India, uh, what was that experience like? What did it teach you? Uh, for me, it was kind of, uh, well, let me see. At first, it was kind of weird. I'll tell you why, because... In 2010, when I went to Jaipur, a, the, the place where I lived in was kind of an outskirts. And there were not so many people of my kind, let me say Africans, around there. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it was, it, was a, it was kind of a new experience for many people. They wanted to talk to me. They often stare at me when I'm in public. So it was really kind of like, you know, weird and sweet and stuff. But, you know, I started making friends with them and, you know, they, they got to know me. I got to explain about Africa to them and everything was just like a sweet experience for me and I just felt like coming back to India. So that was basically what prompted me to uh, go back to my education. So what was the first uh, introduction to Indian music? Do you remember that? What was the first song that sort of clicked and you were like, this is it, I love this music? Um, ah, well, I'm trying to remember that song. It was, um, um, you know, there were a couple of songs I used to listen to during my treatment. Yeah. I think the first one was um, Kal Ho Na Ho. Kal Ho and, Na Ho, um, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, the music was kind of like solemn, it was sad. And then I was going through a tough period. So, yeah, I was able to connect to the music. And there is another song I can't really remember now, but... I'm sorry about that. That's okay. No worries at all. I want to hear yeah. uh, a lot more about Indian music and your passion. Uh, so, Lamborghini Gana Tasi, Bessie original Ta Sunea Hone, but Thorde was the Lamborghini the Samuel Singh the Jedda version, O Pesh Karaya, Osto Bad, Galambatan the Silsila, Samuel the Naljari Rakange. Lamborghini Chela Hijani Hu. Lamborghini chella hi jani hu hu Bandi bhi chuta te do Kite kale kale jahi jani hu Bandi bhi chuta te do Kite kale kale jahi jani hu Modha tao vichi mare giheri Modha tao vichi mare giheri Bandi bhi chuta te Samuel, I can't even imagine uh, trying to learn an African language. So for you to actually sing songs in a foreign language, uh, that's quite amazing. So how long does it take for you to pick up a song, learn the words and then sing it? Um, well, it depends on the it depends on the kind of song anyway, like some songs are really short and some are quite long. Mm -hmm. And then if the language is in Hindi, it's actually easier for me if it's in any other language. 
and I have to take an extra, like, you know, a few extra minutes. So let me say it takes um, anything from probably 30 minutes to two hours. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's quite <laughs> impressive. So you have a knack for languages from the beginning or is it just something that, uh, you know, you grew fond when you went to India, maybe? Uh, I think it's because I went to India mm-hmm. because um, uh, I lived in a different region here in Nigeria for some time. And I never showed interest in learning the language. Mm-hmm. But the moment I got to j I started learning Hindi because I, went, I wanted to start talking to people properly. So I think it's basically because it's India. So what's the reaction? When you speak to people in Hindi, what is their reaction usually? Uh, well, the reaction is either, I mean, it's, it's, the reactions are like always encouraging uh-huh. because um, they say my Hindi sounds sweet. <laughs> it does so, sound very you know, sweet, I'm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm happy when they say it sounds sweet, but sometimes, you know, I just hesitate to say something because I don't know if I'm saying the right thing anyway. <laughs> okay, well, you have to say something to our listeners in Hindi. All right, so, Mera naam Samuel hai, main Nigeria se hu. Wow, beautiful. That's amazing, Samuel. Samuel, <laughs> when did you decide to change your name and become Singh, Samuel Singh? Uh, so, basically, when I wanted to start the channel, I thought about using different names mm-hmm. and then I wanted to use Samuel Singh as an S I N G and but I actually wanted something that my audience could like relate to because I targeted the Indian audience for my channel. So I realized okay fine, if I could make S I N G S I N G H mm-hmm. that makes you know more sense. So I decided to go with Samuel Singh. So now we know that people all over the world, especially Indian people, are definitely very receptive to your music. They're enjoying watching your videos. Uh, but how about people from your hometown? What do they think about you taking on this sort of uh, unique journey? Uh, well, uh, I'll start with my mom. Uh, initially, <laughs> my mom was kind of skeptical uh-huh. and she thought it was actually crazy. And... Um, <laughs> Well, for my brothers, they were like, "Oh well." I mean, everybody just found it funny. Like, they were really, they were, they were not really sure about why I, w- I had to do this. But you know, when I made the second content, we went, which went viral. That was Lollipop Lagi Lu. It's a butch free cover. So when they found me on the news, they called me and they were like, "Wow, we're proud of you, Sam." So, so that was how it all continued, and they've given me their full support since then. Wonderful. And uh, what are some of the some of your favorite Indian singers and artists? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't have any favorite okay. because they all make um, they all make different kind of music and mm-hmm. it's all different. But recently, I've been listening to Emiwe Bantai and Sidhu Musiala. Sidhu Musiala. I think everybody's <laughs> listening to Sidhu Musiala these days. Have you ever had an artist um, get in touch with you after watching their cover, maybe? Uh, well, let me say, let me say a couple of labels. Yeah. Okay. With a couple of labels. But I mean, usually labels don't like to like disclose what was said and what was done. Of course. They actually just keep that. Yeah. Um, when, why Bhojpuri? Because Bhojpuri is pretty unique. Is it because where you were studying, there were a lot of people that were speaking the language? Exactly. Uh, my college in Jaipur basically had, uh, quite a lot of people from, you can say Bihar, and UP. So the first time I actually listened to Lollipop Lagging, which is a butchery song, mm-hmm. it was actually introduced to me by an Indian from Chile. Oh, so okay. when I was in co- yeah, when I was in college, I used to do you know rap music like the Eminem kind of rap music and stuff. And then he told me and said, Samuel, if you really want to catch these, uh, if you really want to catch the attention of the crowd, just go, uh, just make sure you start your music. With um, <laughs> like a way, you job with a he lay like a stick. So I just, you know, I just went with the flow. I gave that intro uh-huh. and I captured the attention of the audience before doing my rap music. So ever since then, you know, I've been kind of fascinated into trying new things. Wonderful. Now, uh, you know, with social media, it's sort of um, good and bad in a sense where you get a lot of love. Are you also putting yourself out there for criticism as well? So there is people that are going to obviously say positive things. There are people that are going to say negative things. So how do you take the negative feedback? Ah, Well, I mean, I just I mean, 
the 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 best thing is that out of um out of around out of around say two or three percent negative comments, mm -hmm. you have there about ninety seven percent uh negative uh, sorry positive comments. So I mean I just I just like I actually read all the comments and I don't let the negative ones actually you know capture me Wonderful. because we because there are more positives to look at. So I actually go with the flow of the positive ones and not the negative ones. That's a great way to look at it. Samuel, I do want to carry on chatting with you because I think it's, I'm completely fascinated. Uh, if you don't mind holding the line, we're just going to have to take a commercial break and we'll be right back. इस वक्त सा लाइन तेने नाइजीरिया तो एक कलाकार सैम्यूल सिंह जो कि इंडिया के पढ़े कुछ साल उन्होंने उत्थे गुजारे इंडिया जो ये गए तो उत्थे इन्हों मुहब्बत हुई इंडियन संगीत दे नाल, आ, और इंडिया के कल्चर के नाल सो इन्ह ने लैंगुएज सीखी हिंदी के गाने गाँवते हैं भोजपुरी के गाने गाँवते हैं और इन दे गाण बहुत ज़्यादा प्यार मिल रहा है यूट्यूब उत्ते सोशल मीडिया उत्ते um samuel with the current climate you know what people people are hating on each other for each other's differences to spread the word just the positivity the love the music it's it's quite amazing and what are you hoping to achieve um in the long run well um on the long run i'm just like you know i'm actually trying to like you know for example when i was in india mm -hmm. i had a couple of african friends and you know everyone has their own uh, everyone has their own part of the story for some or let me say for many it's actually a good experience and for quite a very few number of them they have other experiences so i'm actually just trying to bring everybody together to let them know we are you know we are just one people and with music i think i can achieve that it's uh, you know i'm completely uh, re really blown away by the fact that music actually helped you heal not uh, just physically but emotionally as well when you're going through the toughest time in your life you're going through cancer treatment and music is what actually comforted you tell me about that uh so um what happens is like um you know in my own situation let me say like during my treatment mm -hmm. i was actually able to like you know recover uh, recover uh, just in time so while taking while taking the chemotherapy and other pains you know i was just sitting on my bed you know looking at other patients looking at their struggles you know looking at things that happen in the world every day like somebody passes and somebody comes in and stuff so all those things i i just try to like listen to music to just you know try to take my mind away from what tomorrow could be like mm -hmm. so uh i mean so let me just say during my toughest time uh music kept me going that's wonderful what are some of the biggest similarities between your culture um african culture and indian culture and what are the the biggest differences similarities and differences well similarities i would say a lot mm -hmm. uh let me say both 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 countries are quite religious mm -hmm. and let me say they believe in superstitions very superstitious and, uh, <laughs> They're quite superstitious, both of them. Yes. Then um, I think uh, when it comes to respect, yeah, I think it's quite the same. Yeah, respect. Respect is a big thing, isn't it? Do you are you planning on going back to India anytime soon? Uh, well, um, yeah. I mean, my last time in India was 2018, uh -huh. and I always went to India, whether it's for a visit or for some official work. So yes, I always love to. So you have you have friends in India still? Uh, pardon? You have friends in India? Yeah, I have a lot of friends in India. I have more friends in India than I do in Nigeria. Oh, you do? Incredible. Yeah. I, I love how small the world has become. That's the best part, I think, about social media. And I'm so glad if it wasn't for social media, we wouldn't have, you know, come across each other. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us, talking about your music, inspiring everybody. In the end, any message you would like to give our listeners? Uh, well, I would like to say uh, thank you to everyone that has been supporting me. I want to say thank you to my producer, TFI. I want to say thank you to my co-artist, Tim Ben. These guys have made it possible for me to be able to, you know, get these things going. I also want to thank everyone in Canada who has, you know, been listening to the show. Thank you for listening and I appreciate your blessing. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. It was an absolute pleasure talking to you, Samuel.